The cast of the man who shot at Liberty Valance has been beyond excited to bring their show to Lubbock theater lovers. A venue had been booked, scripts passed out, rehearsals scheduled, and then they were told something that no theater production ever wants to hear. But tonight, the actors themselves are making sure their work hits the stage. Kelby K's Jaxie Pigeon explains how. Jaxie? Yeah, Matt, one of the cast members tells me that we all encountered adversity. It's just a natural part of life. But what do you do when adversity comes against you? He says the best thing to do is to control your reaction to any situation. The cast came together one evening uh, expecting rehearsal and instead we were made aware that the show was no longer going to be able to continue. A play called The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance was set to open the curtains at Buddy Holly Hall on June 30th but things quickly took a turn. We were about two and a half weeks from going up and the folks in charge let us know that that wasn't gonna be happening due to some unforeseen circumstances. And the cast was really like, we've worked too hard. Is there any way that we can pull ourselves back up? If there's a will, there's certainly a way. The cast saying they did not want a month and a half of rehearsals to go to waste. We started reaching out to folks, friends and family acquaintances and other people that we had connections with, everyone just rallied around us and said, yes, we want to be a part of this. We want to help do this. We want to be involved. When offstage, Van Reenen ran the now closed Wild Lark Books that was in downtown Lubbock. But through that business, she realized she already had all the licenses and documents needed to put on a show. The Wild Lark Books Fund is the official license holder for the show. We're producing it. And with that, it's going to help assist our mission of creating art and avenues for folks to share stories and tell stories. Brown has been a performer since high school. She says the community support has been unmatched. One here, one here, one here, and saying here, please use our props and costumes to use our experience here. Let us build for you. And it seemed to reinvigorate some of that community dynamic. And community theater doesn't always feel like community sometimes. And this was an experience when it absolutely did. Barbie says it's inspiring to see the team's all hands on deck approach. It's been really cool to see people using their talents and gifts. And we're all working together to make sure this production is successful. The team, now calling itself the cast who saved Liberty Valance, is making sure the show will indeed go on. We have been so incredibly blessed to have Lubbock as a community rally behind us to make this happen. So we went from going 100 miles an hour to suddenly zero and then back at 100 because of all of the support that we received. Although Van Reenen announced the closing of Wild Lark Books, that may not hold true. The proceeds from the play's ticket sales and fundraising may end up saving the bookshop. The new show dates are August 15th and 16th at the Crickets Theater at Buddy Holly Hall. You can find all this information over on our website, everythinglubbock.com.